Riz knows it's coming. Hey, uh, have you seen Steffi? I have a break between patients. She's around somewhere. Yeah, right. What patient, Taylor? Okay. What's wrong? I don't even know where to start. Try me. Carter's not the man we thought he was. What do you mean? He double-crossed me, double-crossed all of us. He's trying to take over this company. He's like, what? You are willing to forgive what Carter did, but he wanted no part. I really should have my head examined, right? Because why would anyone offer this, even if it's your best friend? You try to put a knife in my back. It's going to one person, your daughter. Hi. Like it's her fault. What's going on? Everything. Okay, that doesn't sound alarming. <laughs> There's something that I've been wanting to tell you. And now that it's out in the open, I can. Oh, yeah. Should I be sitting down for this? It's Hope and Carter. They're involved. Okay. That shouldn't matter to her. Um, they broke up a long yes, time ago. They are involved. And by involved, you mean they're in a serious relationship. Oh, together. I know that might be difficult to hear. I, no, I mean, it, it's a bit of a shock, but I, I'm not upset. And Carter and I have been over for a long time. Except there's more. Mm -hmm. He no longer works here. Why? Because of hope? Because he tried to seize control of the company. He is in joking. control, you're right. I wish he drew up legal papers and everything. Yeah, had me sign them, Stephanie yeah. signed them, put himself in charge of the company. Carter's your best you friend. Say, hope put him friend, up to uh, it. Yeah. He's one saying. of the most trusted and loyal executives here. Oh. Sure appeared to be. I don't know how I did this. Mm -hmm. He would stoop so low. Why would he do it? The great Hope Logan. I pushed us too far. You're right Push about me. that, right? Canceling my line, firing me. You know why, Hope. Steffi, don't you get it? You were wrong. Yeah, okay. you were. No, I wasn't trying to seduce your husband. I wasn't wearing lingerie for Finn. I was waiting for Carter. Yeah, because they're in a relationship, just like you would for Finn. Don't look at her like... <sighs> this is just Are crazy. You now, I mean, man. never in a million <laughs> years. A, a coup? Attempted coup. As far as I know, it didn't succeed. Carter is so principled. Yeah, He's as loyal as it comes. Yeah. That's where Carter has been. Loyalties have changed. From Eric to Ridge. Shh. Hope. To now hope. There's no denying hope was wronged by Steffi. But for them to take it to this level. Is Steffi aware? I'm sure oh, that Ridge is filled her over by there now. taking it oh, out so on she hope. she must know that firing hope was based on a, a mix-up, a misunderstanding. All care. those things that she said about hope, uh, uh, canceling her line, she was 100% wrong. She would never admit that. This whole a unfortunate chapter was set in motion by Steffi. Mm -hmm. Not that it negates what Hope and Carter were trying to do, but even worse, Rich is now listening to Steffi and blaming Hope for Carter's betrayal. This is unbelievable. Yes, it is. They're going to use it to try to break him up. Carter, the man you consider a brother, trying Taylor, to take over your livelihood, your, your, your family legacy. Like I said, Hope. How? It doesn't make any sense. She doesn't even work here anymore. Hope doesn't well, know about paperwork like that. Else. The woman he loves, I, I thought he was single. So did I. Wait, you're saying... That's exactly what I'm saying. Steffi. The truth. Only you wouldn't believe it. That's why I was so flustered with Finn standing there. I wanted to explain myself, but I couldn't. Why not? It would have saved you a whole lot of trouble. Because I wanted to protect Carter from you and your judgments. I knew the minute you found out that Carter and I were involved, you would lose all respect for him. I wanted to protect it, Steffi. Not that it's any of your business. I'm CEO. It is definitely my business. No, it ain't. If somebody's dating somebody Not in the this. company. You could have just taken my word for it. You could have believed me. Only you were just looking for any excuse to get rid of me and bury hope for the future. No, that's Don't true. you see, Steffi, your blatant disregard is what forced our hand? Carter and I, we didn't want this. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me right now? 
And you're really trying to justify a coup with the company. And don't blame her. She didn't do it. Carter did. Rich is putting all the blame on Hope. Yeah. I wish I could say he is. He's Carter up to it. has been wondering about Carter's odd behavior and his sudden defense of Hope. Well, it's resolved. Now that he knows about their relationship, he agrees with Steffi that Hope is corrupting Carter. Oh, come on. That is ridiculous. Carter is a grown man. He's not going to allow himself to be manipulated. I agree. And my daughter wouldn't do something like that anyway. No, of course she wouldn't. I wouldn't even know how to do a kill. Carter into some self-serving scheme. I mean, Carter would not have done this unless he felt it was absolutely necessary. I mean, he's not going to put his career on the line. We'll tell that to Steffi and Rich. I don't even know what to say. I don't know either. I'm worried. They won't listen. You should hear how he's talking about my daughter. Oh, what can I do? I mean, I can't really defend her actions. <sighs> this is impossible, but promise me, you won't let this come between you and Rich. She's trying. She's holding Make all back. the excuses you want. There is no justification for what you and Carter did. Yeah, it's okay to admit it to that yourself. you lost focus, Steffi. You were so consumed with getting back at me that the company was beginning to suffer. We suffered when your line was sucking us dry, Hope. It was starting to improve again. Not really. Yeah, it you was. Remember? Carter and I were going over the figures on many occasions. And he wanted to cut your line just like me. You were, you were in the meetings, Hope. Carter was armed to the teeth with facts and data that you didn't like. And now suddenly, what? He's... He's your biggest fan? You two are sleeping together? I mean, wow. You must have done a real number on him. <laughs> because this is really sad. Wow. It's really sad that such a bright accomplishment so judgmental, was lived down this path. You know, ever since my father started focusing more on design, Carter and I started working a lot together. We started making decisions for the company. I trusted him. I had faith in him. I valued so his morals. Sad. And so did my family. I always thought Carter would be immune to a woman like you. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. A woman like Carter not you. only betrayed my father, he betrayed me too. Who cares? <laughs> not who. Trying to the wrong person. <laughs> and they're a couple. She I betray mean, anybody in a heartbeat. No one knew. Except Brooke. So, it was a secret. Never a great way to start a relationship. <laughs> well, Carter has fallen hard, apparently. So We're hard stalking to people. Rich. Moving in on a man sorry. when he's in a committed oh, relationship. Sorry. I know this must be very hurtful. I trusted that man with my life. Like you always do. And I don't trust anybody, you know that. It's family. I don't you were so anybody. good to right. You and Eric. That should have been the first red flag by day when I slept with my dad's wife. Now he's Hope's puppet. Yeah. Just didn't think it could be played that easily. Hope's puppet. Do you really think it's so funny they think Hope's Hope. doing it? Absolutely. It's not because of Hope. Hope is back there pulling the strings. Get real, Red. You sound like your daughter is talking through your mouth. Thanks for watching TTV.